Welcome back to more Guild Wars 2. Today we're going to be getting all the vistas in Rata Sum. This first one was a rather interesting one. It's actually a fairly confusing one. I actually had someone show me how to do it my first time. It was apparently confusing to him too because it's not straightforward how to get it. As we can see, it's straight in front of us. Up there. This is probably the most annoying one in this map because it involves jumping on things that look like they're background pieces. In fact, I'm pretty sure, except for here, they are background pieces. Yes, you, we literally have to crawl up the roots that gr are growing on the giant cube in order to make it over there. No, it's not entirely intuitive. This first one in particular, it's not intuitive because they don't reach each other. And I was going off of memory how I did it before, which was not this way. This per jump was always very difficult to make. From here, the vines mostly reach, so you can kind of jury-rig your way along. Now, from here, we actually have to use the edges of rock. Pretty simple and straightforward, once you get it explained to you, which I'm hoping this helps, if you're watching and have not figured this one out yourself. The next vista, I believe there is one on this level. It's just way at the bottom of the map. In relation to where we were before, of course. This one was also slightly annoying, um, only because apparently, as being a non Asurin, it took me multiple tries. It's really not hard. It's just the last jump was being a pain to me. That's really all there was. Moving on from there, there are two on the bottom level. We'll be getting the first one. That's not the more interesting one of the two. The more interesting one you might have seen last video. I'm not actually sure if I had my camera on it or not, but I'll you'll see it. And it's the most interesting one of the bunch. Because it kind of shows that this is the a giant floating cube rather than just a giant cube that just kind of sits on land. You can see it on the minimap and how it just kind of sits there in kind of the middle. And you might be wondering how to we get it. I'm purposely going to be avoiding it. Because, spoilers, it's cool. one you can't actually get back from unless you warp. And that makes it kind of convenient to be the last one on the mainland. I don't know if you noticed, but there was one that was not here, but in the port. Now this one's simple. It's, you can literally jump and make it at, as any race, as far as I know. Now for that other one, you notice I took the uh, short, the uh, lower of the two bridges, 
And that's because the this bridge kind of gives spoilers as to how you get to it. It's a small jumping puzzle over instant death. It's not like any of these jumps are hard in the least. But you can't get back the way you got there. Having done that, the last one is in the port. As with most starting locations, they're fairly easy to get. Fairly easy map completion, so the rewards we're gonna get for this aren't exceptional. They're what you would standardly expect some transmutation stones, which are actually coming in very handy if you like a specific look of specific gear. Which, there are some very nice looking gears out there. Now, this jump... There's no real big jumping puzzles like there were in the Glade here in Rathasum. But there's always the next home world we're gonna visit. Sometime later. And I've already spoiled what the uh, reward was, but uh, see for yourself, three transmutation stones. Now, we're going to be transporting back to here, the court, and we'll see you guys next time when we actually finally continue Arathen's story. Sadly, it involves Traherne and not, Lo and not Laura. I'll see you guys next time. This is Stomping Llama. Signing out.